This is an IGCSE and GCSE video and it's quick fire questions on the EM spectrum with a little bit on waves. So remember what you want to do is play the video, write down your answer and then listen for my perfect version of the answer. And this is really good revision. So we're going to start with the first question. List the order of EM waves starting with the longest wavelength. Remember there's that YouTube song and if you Google the EM spectrum you'll find it, I think it's a Korean song, but that will help you remember the order because it's quite catchy. So it goes radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, write out that infrared in full, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays. What do all EM waves have in common? Number one, they're all transverse waves. Number two, they all transfer energy. Number three, they travel at the same speed in a vacuum. And if anyone's interested, that's 300 million meters per second. Which EM waves can be used for cooking? The obvious one here is microwaves. The second one is infrared radiation. Name two M waves that can be used in communication. You've got lots of options here. The ones with the longest wavelengths are the most useful. So you're going to talk about radio waves, microwaves. You could have also talked about infrared and potentially even visible light. List the dangers of gamma and x-rays. Well, remember they are ionizing radiation, which means that they cause mutation. And what does mutation cause? Cancer, potentially. Six, what can gamma rays be used for? Well, weirdly, they can be used to kill cancer if they're used in the appropriate way. They can also be used to sterilize surgical equipment. Already on to question seven, give a use and danger associated with ultraviolet rays. So let's start with our danger. Remember they can cause skin cancer or sunburn, a use, fluorescent tanning beds. You can also use them to detect forge banknotes. Eight, what is the wave equation? Well, wave speed equals wavelength times frequency. How do you calculate the refractive index? Well, refractive index, remember, is given by n. You need to learn that it's, it's sine i over sine r. If you need more detail than I'm writing here, make sure you go and watch my all-in-one revision videos because I'll talk about these in much more detail then. And finally, question 10. How do you calculate the critical angle? The critical angle is given by c, and it's a weird one, so you need to write sine c equals 1 over the refractive index.